today I'm taking you through the Ronin Dojo. So what is a Dojo? A Dojo is essentially your backend server for your Samurai wallet. So instead of querying Samurai Wallet servers for your balances, you query your own Bitcoin node in the form of Samurai Wallet Dojo. So then what's Ronin Dojo? Well, let's find out. So here is the Ronin Dojo GitHub repository. And we can see that there isn't actually too much here, but it does give us the link to the Ronin Dojo wiki home. And here is where you would find all the information uh, that you need to successfully run this project. So a Ronin Dojo is, a is an installation assistant and user interface for Samurai Wallets Dojo. The goal of Ronin Dojo is to simplify Dojo on single board computers. So the way that this would work is you would need um, a small single port computer such as a Raspberry Pi and you're going to flash what's known as a uh, an operating system called Manjaro. It's a Linux operating system. And this device would then be connected permanently in the background at home 24-7. Um, and so you can then pair your Samurai wallet through to your very own Bitcoin node, or in this case, the Dojo. So let's start with some of the hardware. So what are you going to need to successfully do this project? Well, the first thing you're going to need is a Raspberry Pi 4 with four gigs of RAM. So that's what I have here, and it is in a Flurk case to help it keep it cool. So that's what you're going to need. You're also going to need a 16 gig SD card, one terabyte of storage space, and an ethernet cable. So I've already got a there's a, I've got a hard drive here um, that I'm gonna use. It's three terabytes, bit of an overkill, but let's try it out nonetheless. Um, so we are going to need uh, somewhere to store the blockchain info onto, and that will be your um, storage space that you decide. Now, the good thing is, is in this wiki, they've also uh, got some hardware recommendations and suggestions. Now, obviously, below are suge some, some suggestions, but please do your own research. They've even got some tiers here, uh, so hardware tiers. So if you're wanting an entry-level dojo with a, you know, a rough estimate of the price, all the way through to the ultimate uh, tinkering setup. So they've set up some hardware for you to go out and purchase. They've even got Amazon affiliate links here um, so that you can purchase them uh, at ease. So the next thing that we'll need to do is go back and look into the preparation. We will need to download and install or flash um, Manjaro ARM XFCE onto the SD card. And it's even got a link for more information there. So let's take a look at that. Now, what you're gonna need is to actually download the image first. So let's take a look at that link there. And we can download this particular file here, this 800 megabyte file. So we'll download that. Then what we need to do is flash this operating system onto the micro SD card. And the way that we would do that is using a piece of software called Bellina Etcher. So this is what I've got here. And essentially you can see here, I've selected the file that I've downloaded here and I've selected now the um, uh, the, the storage device, uh, the micro SD card, and I've put that into my micro SD card reader and put it into my computer, and that has shown me um, a, a, the 16 gig micro SD card, and then I'm gonna hit flash. Now I've already flashed this, so as you can see, it's already got Manjaro on there. And so now uh, that is now completely flashed. What's, let's have a look at what's next. The next part is to insert the micro SD card and power up your device. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my micro SD card. I'm gonna take uh, that out of my computer. Uh, it's already flashed with the Manjaro software. And I'm going to put this into my Raspberry Pi uh, in the back here, like so. And so now I have a nice, um, uh, flashed Raspberry Pi. I'm also going to put in my uh, hard drive. So let's just do that um, into a port on the, on the Raspberry Pi. So that's now complete and all is well on that. Okay. And I am now going to plug this 
into uh, my Ethernet, uh, plug in my Ethernet port here. So that would give it network access. The other end is going back into my router at home. And then I'm just going to power on the device. So let's see what happens. Okay, so now what we're going to do is figure out what our device's IP address is. So once that's you've given it a few minutes uh, to load up, you will see that there would, should be something in your router. Um, and I'm going to try and find out what that IP address is such that I can remote log in to this uh, device. So I'm just going to log into my router here. And I can see here it's got a IP address of 192.168.2.174. So my instructions, so now going back to the instructions, um, I am going to uh, SSH a root into that. Now I'm going to do this in Windows because uh, I would think that that is probably what the majority of people are on. So what we're going to need is a piece of software called PuTTY. And I'm going to put that IP address in. So 192.168.2.174. And I'm going to click open. Click yes. And I'm going to log in as root. Okay. So it says here, welcome to Manjaro. Fantastic. Now I need to choose a keyboard layout. All right. So let's see if I can get something in the US realms here. US. Pick a username. All right. I'll just keep kids on. Nope, that's fine. Enter a full name. That'll do. Enter a password. Great. Confirm that password. Great. Enter a root password. Okay. And confirm the root password. Okay. Select your time zone. Okay, I'm in Australia, Sydney. Looks like a language. So I think I'm just gonna go with ENAU. Uh, a host name, we'll call this Ronan Dojo. All right, so let's confirm these. Okay, so that has now rebooted. So I'm going to open up PuTTY again. Let's have a look at uh, the instructions. So complete the initial Manjaro setup process. Done. Copy and paste the following command to upgrade the system. All right. Fantastic. So let's now get back into um, our PuTTY or into our device. 2.174 open, log in as me and putting in my password. Fantastic. So Katan at Ronan Dojo. Excellent. So now it is uh, do that to upgrade the system. So let's paste that through and enter. And we're going to put in that password for super user access, which is the root password. So we'll do that. And now we're just downloading and uh, installing all the latest software. Uh, we'll just click yes, proceed. Okay, so that looks like it has now updated. So um, the next thing to do is to reboot. So let's uh, copy that and paste that through. Okay, so we've now just rebooted the device. What's next? Let's uh, SSH back into our um, our Raspberry Pi. So we'll open up another putty window. Same IP address. Login as me, put in my password. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is install Git. So let's do that, copy that, paste it through, right click pastes, so enter. Proceed. 
proceed. Yes, happy with that. Fantastic, looks good. Next, we need to uh, pull the Ronin Dojo repository by cloning that in. So we'll copy that. And we will pa oh, we'll paste that through in like so. And then copy and paste to launch the user interface. So we'll copy that. And we will paste that through. All right, so choose one of the following options, some options here. So what I'll do now is I'm going to move over to uh, Linux because it does look a little bit nicer on on the on that we will go through to uh, system setup and installations and we'll just do set up system and install dependencies and also um, yeah we'll just click on that and tab through to okay put in our password and I'm gonna let that run okay so we're gonna reopen uh, the menu again and we're just gonna go system setup and installations and we will install our dojo um and it says do you want to install an indexer yes yes i do uh, and do you want an electrum rust server yeah why not uh, this operation will install Dojo. Yep. Okay, so now when you're at this sort of stage, um, you can see that there are uh, blocks being downloaded. And um, yeah, you're now synchronizing to the, to the Bitcoin network. At this point, you can probably just control C out of this and this will uh, remove or detach uh, from here and it will just go through to uh, the, the the blocks will continue to download in the background okay so now it says here whirlpool is ready to be installed so we'll do that now um, we'll just go into the UI again then go into system setup and installations and then just go into install whirlpool okay Okay, press any letter to continue. Fantastic, okay. So now um, we've got pretty much everything installed. Uh, now we just need to wait for the initial block download to complete. Um, and that will then, we'll be able to pair up our, uh, our Ronin Dojo through to our Samurai Wallet. Now here we can also uh, look through for our Tor maintenance tool. So we'll go to the Dojo menu now and we will go Tor hidden service address. And these are your Tor hidden service addresses and your passwords. So what you can do is go into a Tor browser, copy and paste this. Copy this into here and then add admin or slash admin and you'll be able to hopefully open up the maintenance tool and it'll ask for your admin key. So we'll just copy and paste this admin key in through here and connect. And with your Samurai wallet, once it has actually completed the initial block download and everything is up to date, what you can do is pair your wallet with your dojo. Um, and so this is the QR code that you would scan with your phone to pair your Samurai wallet through to your dojo. Now, the other way that you can potentially look um, at the logs and see where you're at 
in terms of your blockchain uh, download, you can go into the dojo menu, uh, you can go into view logs and have a look at the Bitcoin D logs and it will show you uh, where you are on the initial block download. So here, if you have a look, um, this is the block height here um, and that's where you're at. So currently on 82,000 and uh, it just continuously, you know, plugs away like so. So the way you get out of that is just control C um, and you'll go back into the menu there. There's a lot of things to explore here. So have a look through, um, see what you can do. Uh, so there's the Whirlpool menu as well, what you can do with your Whirlpool. Um, and then there's the Electrum Rust server menu, firewall menu and system menus as well. So that's really, really handy. It's nice and, you know, configured to uh, sort of be user intuitive and that's what i really like about the ronin dojo it scripts it all together for you such that you don't need too much um, command line typing commands and those sorts of things so hats off to the guys at ronin dojo for uh, creating a tool like this the other thing you can do is also if you find that uh, this has been a uh, good experience for you or that you wish to donate and support the work of um, the people who created this, then you're more than welcome to do that um, with these uh, QR codes here within your Samurai wallet. Okay.